Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be covering on account structure. So what is account structure? Account structure is basically setting up rules how main accounts and dimensions are related. Basically, uh, so we define main accounts and dimension rules in account structure. So <clears throat> we're gonna group main accounts under one head. So it becomes easy for us to create a rule for dimension. Example, let's say we have assets, liabilities, you know, uh, so we have liabilities. Then let's say I'll take operating expense, operating expense. Then we have, uh, you know, your income. So I'm going to take this uh, as an example. Uh, this can be, you can group main accounts based on the requirement. And that will help us to create a dimension uh, rule, which is applicable for this set of main accounts. Let's say you have assets, uh, my assets number, uh, let's say I'll take five digits. So I'll say 10,000 to 19,000. 999 so uh, why I'm starting from 10,000 is uh, because I can maintain consistency so when I say consistency I want assets uh, every main account digits to be five that's why I'm starting from 10,000 and not from one so similarly let's say for liabilities I'm taking another number now remember the number that's already used should not be overlapped otherwise the system will not allow to create those numbers right so let's say 20 to 29 then uh, for operating expense i'm taking three series so this is again example you know you can define any number you want uh, based on the company requirement right uh, let's say for income i'll take uh, four series uh, 40000 to 89 so this is the group of num uh, num main accounts that I've created under a particular head. Now, uh, let's say what is what do we do in account structure is basically uh, now we're going to link a dimension that's required for the set of main accounts that's already created, right? So for liabilities, for liabilities or let let's say assets. Uh, for assets, whenever I post an assets, let me say I need a cost center. Uh, to so I'm going to link cost center in my account structure. Similarly, let's say while posting an operating expense, I need cost center along with my uh, department, right? So this is again uh, the dimensions I'm taking as an example. And you can add multiple dimensions within account structure, right? So uh, for assets, I've taken cost center. For operating expense, I've taken cost center and department. So let's get to the system, create this main accounts are in account structure and then we'll create a rule where when you post an asset cost center will will be required and when you use operating expense you have cost center and department which will become useful when posting the transactions so let's get to the system so go to the system modules then you go to general ho set of accounts structures configure account structure here we can see the list of account structure that is already configured for all the legal entities so to create a new account structure click new give the account structure name i'm going to give the demo asset give the description add main account should be yes so we can include main accounts and click create here in the main account column, select the main account numbers that's required to be created for rules. As my example stated here, uh, for asset, I'm taking 10,000 to 19,000 So that's my account structure. So select 10,000. Now remember, after 10,000 here, we need to give two dots. That means it's a continuous. We're telling from 10,000, it's continuing to 19,000 that's the reason we need to give two dots then 19,000 now active from and active to will suggest from which date to which date the account structure will be active if you want the account structure to be active throughout you can leave this as a blank now as suggested in the example whenever I am posting 
or when I'm using main account from this group, I want cost center to be populated. So how do we gonna link dimension for the main account? Click on add segment. Segment is basically your dimension. So I have selected cost center. So select cost center and click on add segment. Now for this main account, whenever you use any accounts that's between 10,000 to 19,999, cost center will be populated. Now here we have an option where cost center can be made as mandatory or cost center can be made as an optional. That is when a transaction is getting posted for every transaction, if cost center is required, you're going to make that as a mandatory or if it can be optional, that is for few, you can, you know, fill the value and for few, you can leave, the, leave it as blank. So for that, click on the cost center. Yeah, scroll down. And here you can see blank values are allowed. If this is selected, then blank values will be allowed. If this is not marked, then cost center becomes mandatory. So here I'm going to leave it as mandatory. So for every transaction or for every main accounts that you're going to use between this range, cost center will become mandatory. Once the setup is done, click activate. Click which now the main accounts or the account structure will be activated for asset as you can see the account structure for demo asset is active similarly we'll create another account structure for expense so to create new click on new give the account structure name i'm going to name it as demo expense then you can give the description once the description is filled, add main account should be yes and click on create. Now give the main account number. So I'm going to take 30,000 to 39999. This is the example format that I'm going to take. And, uh, and also it should be two dots as you see here, right? And the date active from active to, I'm gonna leave it as blank. As we discussed for operating expense, I want cost center and department to be populated. So I'm going to click on add segment. I'm going to select cost center, click add segment, then repeat the step to add department. So click add segment and then scroll down to see department, which I can see here, then click add segment. So this is how we can add multiple dimension to a particular set of main accounts in the account structure here let's say cost center which again i'm going to keep it as mandatory and department i'm going to make it as optional so select department and click on blank values allowed so here any main accounts that is selected between 30,000 to 39,999 cost center will be mandatory whereas department is an optional you can fill it or leave it as blank that is as per the setup so the next step is click on activate and activate the account structure the account structure is active similarly you can create multiple account structure based on the business requirement once the account structure is created we need to link account structure in the ledger so we're going to see how we do that so go to modules go to general ledger ledger setup click on ledger click on edit this is where we link account structure with the ledger account structure so click add here we're going to see the list of account structure that is created in the environment so select the one that is applicable so demo asset click on that and then select and as you see here uh, the synchronization will occur whenever the service resources are available. So this is because we, the, uh, this will impact all the accounting transaction. So just click yes. So asset is linked. Similarly, we need to link our expense. So click add and select demo expense. So the select demo expense. Click yes. So now I have linked demo asset and demo expense. To my ledger let's see how the account structure that we define will work when posting transactions 
go to generalize view and try to post a transaction and see how the configured account structure will work so select journal entries journal journals click new select the journal name go to lines and we'll try to post a transaction and see the effect of the account structure configuration so here when posting the transaction select the accounts drop down now if you see your cash when you select a cash you know the cost center will come into picture similarly when you select your rent as you see here the cost center and the department comes into picture this is based on the account structure setup what we have done so let's say i have selected rent uh, so when i go to my account structure which is expense so rent is an expense account right so i have created main accounts for 30 to 30 triple nine now here 30,000 so the main accounts fall under expense if you see here when I select any accounts between this range cost center and department should populate as well cost center is a mandatory you need to fill a value whereas department is an optional so if you see your account structure here when I'm posting I have selected 30,000 that is the main account you can see cost center and department is populated now that cost center is blank you can see the error blank is not allowed for cost center so you must key in a value let's say i'll select trade shows department is an optional if you want you can fill the value or we can leave it blank that is per the setup what we have done department blank is allowed so let's say i'll close this department uh, enter the amount let's say i'm debiting 150 dollars and now on the offset account i'll select cash account now when you see here cash when we select cash uh, the account structure for cash what we have done is the asset demo asset let me go here so if you see here any main accounts that you select between 10000 to 19999 cost center should populate and cost center is a mandate back to our accounts you can see here when I select a cash account cost center will populate and cost center is a mandate if we leave blank there will be an error so we need to fill the value so once this is done we can now post the transaction so this is how the account structure will impact the transaction posting so there is accounts advanced account structure where within the group for a set of main accounts, you need a different dimension. So that will be part of advanced account structure, which I will cover in part two of the video. That's it for this video. Thank you.